Hi everyone, I'm now using Sunhead S3. It's a Android TV box powered by iSilicon HI3798C V200 processor. Uh, it's a media processor that supports 4K, H.265, H.264 and VP9. So I'm going to test this uh, with a local player and with YouTube. Uh, you can see Kodi is installed but this is the box is still in development uh, that's why I'm not doing a review right now and right now <laughs> and Kodi is not running yet okay I tried to clear the cache and everything but it didn't work so let's go to some 4k video samples let's start by H.264 at 30 frames per second Big Buck Bunny Okay, no problem Now let's go to 60 frames per second by the way, the video output is 2160p at 60 hertz. So this is not it's not very smooth, and audio delay. Uh, that because uh, I guess uh, the processor does not support. 60 frames per second for H.264 but only 30 so let's try some other videos this one is BT2020 video and this is not displaying the color space correctly okay ah perfect <laughs> okay I don't know why this happened at the beginning oh all right, so they have to they have somewhere to do here. Yeah? The next one will be impressive. It's a 243 megabit per second video. H.264, I believe. And it's playing fine. By the way, there's a, the device has a USB 3 port, so that's what I'm using. With USB 2.0, it will not run. Yeah, it would be at the limit. It could run, but it will at the limit. Now, this is H.265 at 60 frames per second. And it works perfectly. Uh, next, oh, let's play with some VP9. Okay, I'll take this one first. This video has no audio, so that's normal. And it's working very well. This is 30 frames per second. Uh, yes. Now let's try another one at 24 frames per second. Also VP9 and 4K. Let's try it. Looks like I cannot seek, so let's wait a bit. But it's playing fine. Okay, it's smooth and nice. Uh, I haven't played 10 bit yet, so let's go. 10 bit H.265.
again this one is just perfect and this one is a VP9 and it also work and this one 60 frames per second VP9 and this is working much better than in AIM Logic S 905X for now, I'm sure the box will improve in the future. This is perfectly smooth. Uh, okay, I will show something that does not work. This one is H.264 10 bit 4K video. And we only have audio. Ah, okay. And it looks like the curvature of Earth's video did not have audio. Uh, okay, one more. Uh, this one is a DVB S2 stream, f uh, 4K video S2 stream. And it's also working just fine. Okay, so I'm going to play with YouTube now. Uh, the Play Store works, but uh, YouTube uh, cannot be searched right now, so I had to sideload it. This one is a 4K video. Uh, but when I want to set the quality, it only supports 1080p. So yeah, I think 4K video with YouTube will be complicated. Uh, I think, yeah. Because it only works with Android TV, I believe. All right, so, but overall it's quite good. And I guess in one or two months, uh, we should have stable box coming to market with uh, this iSilicon processor and a good performance. Alright, thank you all for watching. Bye bye.